Time for a very long overdue video update from our travel adventure. I haven't recorded anything in, gosh, like seven or seven to ten days or something since we, I think, when we were back in Siem Reap in Cambodia. Thought I'd catch you up. Sorry, I haven't, I actually have been useless over the last week even recording anything, but I want to give you an update anyway. So after I left you last time, we were in Siem Reap. We caught a bus, an overnight bus, which went back to Phnom Penh. It took maybe five hours to get to Phnom Penh. Okay. Here's the current situation. <laughs> we're, we're on our luxury deluxe bed. Can't really see it. You can kind of see, kind of see down the bus. We're sort of, we're sort of on the floor. <laughs> Haley's terrified. I think it's great. I really wish there was a light down here. Can you see the bed? No, not really. We arrived at like four o'clock in the morning, had a two hour wait there before getting on another bus to Sihanoukville. And we had about seven, just over a week in Sihanoukville. And just had, you know, just a nice combination of working and relaxing um, after doing quite a lot for the last few days in Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. So just had, it took a nice uh, bit of time to, to relax. Haley had a great time getting her nails painted on the beach. That is a boat attached to a, is it a Paris, um, paraglider? Boat just flying along casually. Should we go have a go? No. We actually had a very nice weekend over on Koh Rong Salem, which is an island about an hour boat trip from Sihanoukville. And it's this beautiful white sand beach. You literally stay in these huts on the beach. I spent the weekend there, yeah. And we went on this great fishing trip. I jumped on a boat, went out snorkeling um, off this island, and then the guides, they took us ashore, and they took us on a tour of this fishing village, which is this very young, it's only 17 years old village, that's completely self-sufficient. They don't even get government support. Yeah, they, they took us on the tour of the village, and then we had an all-you-could-eat buffet dinner, so that was fantastic. So yeah, we had a great weekend on Koh Rong Salem. That was really cool. What else did we do? We did the island. Chilled. Just relax, yeah. We had a little work. Yeah, we did, we did quite a lot of work. It was a good work week, actually. And yeah, so now, I'm now in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City. We arrived earlier today. We actually left last night. At seven o'clock last night, we got a bus from uh, Sihanoukville to Phnom Penh. Got on another bus, a, a sleeper bus, or a hotel bus, which has these completely flat beds. I had about five or six hours to get to the Vietnamese border went through security, another two hours to Ho Chi Minh. And first impressions of Ho Chi Minh are really good. Like, I'm actually surprised how well developed the city is. I think Cambodia was uh, quite, quite sort of rough, not, not that developed. And so my expectation was that Vietnam might be quite similar. But Ho Chi Minh, very sort of, uh, yeah, developed, like, up and coming city. So looking forward to going out tomorrow and exploring. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's it for me. Not much of an update, I'm sorry. But uh, let me give you a quick view of our apartment. Or well, let me show you around the apartment. So uh, this is, you can see our little Airbnb apartment. What were you saying? Did you tell them about the cockroaches? Oh, the cockroaches. Yes, we had to, on the hotel bus on the way here, or on the first leg even, there were actually little tiny cockroaches all through the bus. Like you could literally feel them oh, on you some are big. at night. Some, some, big. some big ones. <laughs> so Haley didn't. Did you sleep at all? Not even one thing. Nah, Haley didn't sleep. I a few times had to brush cockroaches off my legs. Um, <laughs> so it's all all just part of the uh, joys of travel, really. Needless to say, it was good to switch buses when we got to Phnom Penh. Um, but yeah, where was I? This is our this is our little Airbnb apartment. There's our kind of bed on the floor, and yeah, it's. Pretty basic. We've got a kitchen. We've got a really good kitchen. Actually, this is the first decent kitchen we've had on our trip because our villa in Bali didn't really have a good kitchen. And we've just been in hotels ever since, really, and villas and things which kind of come with a kettle and that's it. So Haley's looking forward to doing some cooking, aren't you? I don't even say that sarcastically. She actually is. <laughs> and this is our view. Here we are. So this is looking out from our apartment. This is Ho Chi Minh City, where we arrived. Yeah. Actually looks pretty darn nice. And we should later have a really nice sunset over here. So yeah, that's it from me. Uh, 
what we got coming up over the next week or so. Um, we're in Ho Chi Minh for the next five or six days. We leave on Monday and then we're going up to Hanoi. How long? Hoi An. Hoi An. Uh, flying up to Hoi An, so that'll be good. But yeah, no, looking forward to exploring um, Ho Chi Minh or Saigon over the next few days. I will record, here's a promise, I will record like a day in the life or first day in Ho Chi Minh video tomorrow. There, I said it, I'll do it. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.